Come journey with me to explore new worlds and endless possibilities. It's me, Lady Sean, welcoming you back for another episode of Cover to Cover Chronicles. On this episode, I will be reviewing book three in the Torpedo Inc. series, which is Vendetta Road by Christine Feehan. And in this book, we are once again in the small town of Casper, which is located in California, right outside of Sea Haven. In this book, we are introduced to Ice who we meet in Las Vegas, and he is on a mission, of course, for the Torpedo Inc. Motorcycle Club. And as we have seen in some of the previous books, they are on a mission to rescue children who are abused um, by pedophiles and things like that. So once they get wind of a child in this kind of position, then of course the Motorcycle Club steps in to rescue these children and to bring the perpetrators to justice. So we find that while ICE is in Las Vegas, they have gotten wind of a child that is being auctioned off, and we find that they do rescue him, and that they begin to put together the pieces of this ring that are kidnapping these children, and they are killing their families, and then they are selling these children for their own purposes, and we also find that there is a human trafficking ring as well that these men are tied into. While Ice is in Las Vegas, he first sees Soleil on the street with her fiance, and he begins to realize that he has a strong attraction for her, but first he must complete his mission in bringing this little boy safely and in discovering those that are tied into this ring. So, Soleil is in Las Vegas with her fiance, but we begin to see right from the get-go that she is really not into him and that he is very possessive and bossy and that he pretty much is railroading her into marriage. She is a very wealthy woman but she has pretty much grown up alone with no family. And the only family or person that she did see as family was her family's attorney. And we find that he died in what was assumed to be an accident. But we find out quickly that her fiance, along with a group of other guys, has this ring where they set up these wealthy women, they marry them, and then after a while they arrange these accidents so that these women die and then they are left in possession of their fortunes. And we eventually find out that Soleil's fiance is a part of one of these rings. What he doesn't know is that she has met Lana, who is another member of Torpedo Inc. She's one of the female members and that she gave Soleil her phone number so that if at any time she felt unsafe with her fiance that she could call her and that she or another member member of Torpedo Inc. would set out to help her to get away from him and that is indeed what ends up happening. She runs away from her fiance when she finds out the truth and she ends up stopping at a bar when she realizes that that is where some of the Torpedo Inc. people are. And that gives Ice his opening to come in and help Soleil with her problem. Once these two are together, they really heat the pages up in this book with their attraction to each other. But we also find out more of Ice's backstory. He, as well, was raised in these training facilities in Russia where he was also abused as a child along with his brother and younger sister and we also find that he too was trained as an assassin as were they and so once again we find out the backstory of what he went through in Russia when he was in training and also a little bit of how he got the nickname Ice and we also see that as they are investigating Soleil's fiance, 
We also find that he is tied into some of the same guys that take part in this kidnapping ring of these children and selling them off to these people who specially request them. And we also find out that one of these people making requests is actually a Russian. And so we find Ice and the rest of the Torpedo Inc. crew that they are fast researching him, trying to figure out who he is so that they can put a stop to any further children being abused, especially since they themselves were abused. Then we find that this is something that touches close to home for all of them. And it is something that they really don't have to vote on. It's a given that if they get word of anybody being abused, especially children, then the entire motorcycle club steps in to rescue these children, get them back to their families if they still have family left. If not, they are being taken in by Caesar and his wife, Blythe, and they are more than willing to raise these children and to help them get back to a normal, stable life. This story had 427 pages, and overall, I would definitely give it a 5 out of 5. I love the character development of Ice and Soleil, and I like how Soleil goes from being this rich, lonely woman who grew up with no family into falling in love with not only Ice, but also the rest of Torpedo Inc., and that she begins to see them as brothers and sisters as well, and that they begin to fulfill a hole that she felt having grown up all her life with no family, and that the little bit of family she did have was only interested in her money and not so much in taking care of her. I also love how Ice begins to develop as a character and that he goes from this person with no emotion being basically frozen inside to when he first sees Soleil, he is blown away with her beauty, but also with the kind of person she is that she is very empathetic to others and that she really wants to please. But some of that is from her upbringing of feeling like she was not good enough. And so I love how he steps in to fulfill that role by letting her know that he does not want her for her money, even to the point of when they first get together, he tells her any man that's not willing to sign a prenup in order to marry her is a fool. And so that begins to help her see her worth as a woman and that it's not all about her money because one, he refuses to let her pay for anything. And he pretty much tells her that her money is to be reserved for any children that they have and that he as the man is going to take care of her. And so I really like how he steps into that role for her. And I love her development in that she's willing to please, but also at the same time, she's not a pushover. So if it's something she doesn't like, then we know she's going to stand up for herself. So I really like that part of the story as well. And so as always, you can download this book onto your favorite reading device. You can order it from Amazon and have it delivered straight to your door whatever you choose. And as always, remember to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell so that you'll be notified of my upcoming videos. And feel free to leave comments of any books or authors that you would like for me to review on my channel. And I will definitely add that to my review section. So the next book that I will be reviewing is book four in the Torpedo Inc. series, which is Desolation Road. So I will see you guys back here for another exciting episode of Cover to Cover Chronicles. See you soon. Bye-bye.